So welcome guys, today I'm going to show you how to partition your drive C. It's just a few steps to the whole process. So come to your, your computer, double click. When it opens, you have two options. Either you can go to open the settings or manage. You can either use the two. So I'm going to show you the both ways of how to partition this uh, drive C. Just as you can see, mine is only one. So I want to make it either two or three or even four, depending on how many partitions I want to, to have. So you can either go to open the settings, double click. Then on this point, find the settings. You can either decide to type partition then you press the enter button so what will happen it will take you to this particular place where now you're going to do all your partitioning on this, this particular point so just as you can see we have the system reserved we have the drive C then this is the point on which you want to allocate an allocated space so that is step number one so maybe you can cancel this one this other part then uh, just as we have said is that we have two ways either you can use the open setting or manage so process number two or rather than step number two you can double click the manage then come just as you can see we have uh, the computer management we have the system tools task schedule event views shared folder local uses so go all the way to storage and go to specifically disk management double click this one will take you directly to to the point as you can see we have system reserved we have the drive c then we have an allocated the system is uh, around usually it's allocates around uh, 500 mp then just as you can see the c we have 237.95 gb then an allocated we have 227.32 GB. So you can either alter the size of an allocated space. So next, So I hope that uh, you are making the follow up, double click, then maybe we can maximize this point. Then on this, an allocated space, you right click, then choose new simple volume, then you can have uh, maybe next you go to next that as you can see welcome to the simple volume wizard this is wizard helps you to create a simple volume on a disk a simple volume can only be a single disk so just as the instruction goes you click next then on this particular point you can alter the size choose the volume size that is between the maximum and the minimum those are the keywords maximum and the minimum so how we how will either adjust or remain leave the size remain the way it is which is around 232.7 GB or I can even reduce the size up to a minimum of 
so maybe just just as you can see i can reduce the space all the way to above 10 mb that is around maybe 10 it is possible but if you try to have a size less than 8 for example 7 just as you can see it is not possible to move to the next step but if at all you have either 8 or another number greater than 8 and a maximum of 232773 mb it is possible so maybe i can choose a size around uh, maybe 230223000 two, zero, 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 mb so if i to ex exceed the number you can see that uh, it will change let me add another zero there just you can see it's possible to move to the next but if you add another zero something will definitely happen hope you have seen the changes but if we at all we remove the last zero so that it will be less than this it will be possible to move to the next so let us assume that i want my drive uh, whatever the name of the drive the next drive to be around uh, the size of that one then i click next then on this point i will have the option of choosing the letter to allocate to my drive so maybe i can give it uh, any letter but i mostly prefer to have uh, a number greater than c so that uh, C that uh, C is the major one, then the other numbers above the C, those are the main one. So maybe I can have a number like uh, E. You can give it any number you want. Even you can give it as any number like E all the way to Z. So let's assume that uh, I have allocated my drive to letter E. So next, the next step, just as you can see, assign a drive letter or a path so move to next just as you can see to store data in the partition you must format it first choose whether you want to format this volume and so whatever the setting you want to to use so you can see do not format format this with the following setting the file ntvs so we have two options you can either choose the xv80 or the ntvs you can choose either then i click uh, next then up to this point i'm almost through with the whole process completing the new simple volume wizard you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard you selected the following setting as you can see we have um, this is the size 23000 mb then the name of uh, the path or the drive i have allocated the drive to letter e then the file system is the ntvs allocation unit of the size is by devots volume label is the new volume new volume then we have the quick format yes then enable the file and the folder compression no that's all the setting i have allocated to my drive e so you can as well as go back and change maybe the size if you think that the size is too small or it's too big you can readjust by going backward so if at all i click next it will mean that uh, all these changes will be remain there forever no changes so since i'm satisfied with my my size and the file size i'll just click finish So you can just see what is happening. We have the formatting taking place. Then we have an allocating. So it will take time as it's try to do the partitioning.
So just you can see that uh, the partitioning is already complete. We have the system reserved. This is purely for the system. Then you have for the drive C, the one I have allocated, th the main one with the all the major properties. Then this is the new one. Then we have an allocated one. This is a free one. So we can also have a system whereby it has uh, these units. Maybe you can include another another drive. So as we show, we you can click new, then you move to next. This is the number of MB, then next, next, all the way. Just as you can see, the number, the number here is F. Since we have already allocated, the number the numbers which have already been allocated to the drive, they are already removed. So we remain with an allocated number. So maybe since we are not interested with creating another one, we can leave an allocated space. So let's try to see what has happened. You minimize. So just as you can see, this is my local disk C. Then just you can see we have the new volume and the number located as we have done, we have allocated to number E. So we have number E, we now have number C. So if a, if at all we want to allocate to the this part, an allocated one, we proceed with the same procedure. Just maybe for maybe for more practice for those who are still uh, trying to grasp the whole thing. So we move to next. So this is the size of an allocated. Then we have next. Then uh, we have allocated to the number F. Then we have the next. What do we need now? It's okay. Then finish. So all the numbers have been allocated. So we have we have C, E, and F. Just as you can you can see. So this one is a primary partition and logistic drive. Then let's try to minimize and see what has happened in the background. Just as you can see, we have the local drive C down there. We have uh, E and we have the F. So maybe we can rename them. Maybe we can rename this one as um, IT, IT, IT Guru 1. and and uh, it it guru 2 just say continue so that uh, the changes can be effected so just you can see we are through with our partitioning very easy so for the recap we have said that if at all you want to partition your system use a uh, open your uh, my computer then come to this point open the setting or manage these two if you open the two they will give you now the option of choosing the way you want to partition your drive c so thank you for watching this uh, tutorial i hope that uh, you will find it uh, helpful in your computer partition Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my to my channel. I need that uh, that subscription from from your side. Thank you. Have a blessed day.